we're going to be going over shoulder rolls. Shoulder rolls are some of my favorite movements to do when it comes to floor work. Um, there's so many different things that you can do with the shoulder rolls, so let's get right into it. So things to have on for this tutorial would be socks or heels, leggings or knee pads, or if your knees are weathered enough like mine, then you could do it without the knee pads. Um, and I would suggest covering up your shoulders a little bit, especially if you are very new to shoulder rolls because you're going to experience some tenderness, maybe some bruising and some redness on your shoulders after doing these over and over again, okay? So I put a t-shirt on to protect my shoulder a little bit. I have my sockies on because we're going to be sliding down on the tops of our feet. So you kind of want to protect the skin there, especially if you're new to this. Um, a sock just makes it a little more smoother to slide down or heels. Actually goes a lot smoother when you practice it with socks on or heels, okay? First one we're going to do is just your regular shoulder roll. Okay, so for this first one, all you're going to do is you're going to lay on your back. And you're going to think of, you can either have your hands out to the side or you can have them down by your side. Doesn't really matter to me. The um, important thing to keep in mind when you're doing a shoulder roll is that you need to be looking in the direction that you're going in. So I'm going to roll over on my right shoulder, then I need to be looking at my right to do that without hurting my neck. If I'm same with the left, if I'm looking over my left shoulder, that's the side that I'm going to be going on to protect my neck, okay? You can't, I can't be looking to the left and try and roll to the right, then I could seriously injure myself here. And neck injuries are no fun, so we're going to make sure that we're avoiding that. So for this one, again, I'm just going to sit here with my arms out, kind of like, kind of like in a T-shape. I'm going to look over to my right, and I'm going to heave ho up over to my right. So what I want to think about doing is lifting my feet up like this and then doing a second lift like so, okay? But we're choosing a side to go over to. We're not doing a full roll back like this. You need to pick a direction to protect your neck again. Okay, so we're gonna lift up. We're gonna look over to the right. The other oh, no. side together. This is my bad side, so enjoy. <laughs> so again, I'm going to lift up for one. I'm going to look over to my left, and then I'm going to bring my body all the way over, landing on my knees. Okay, our next one is called the pike. So okay, so for the pike, we're going to keep our feet together and pointed. Okay, the entire way around. So look at my feet. This is how you're gonna keep your legs. Okay, you're gonna point your toes, you're gonna bring your legs together, and you're gonna hold that position as you do your rollover, okay? This is the first one that we did. Okay, we're gonna lay down on our back, and I'm gonna start by looking over to my right, because that is the way that I'm going. I'm gonna keep a heavy toe point the entire movement and I'm going to slowly bring my hips to the ground. Okay, I'm gonna come up, feet together, coming up to the right. Once I'm here, I'm going to pivot on my right shoulder so I can look to my left now, okay? And then I'm gonna slide my feeties down. Show you, I'm gonna show you guys again so you can actually see my toes this time. toes together, down. For this pike, I want you to keep one arm straight, okay? So I'm rolling over to my right, so I'm gonna straighten out my right arm. My left arm is gonna come to my side, okay? I'm gonna straighten out my right arm like so. I'm gonna bring my feet up together, and then I'm gonna look to my right, put my feet down, use my left hand to plant and guide and help assist my body to come down a little more gently. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. Straightening my left arm, looking over to my left, bringing my toes up together, rolling. I'm gonna show you guys a different angle, so hopefully you can 
better see what I'm doing. I have a limited amount of space here with this pole in the middle, um, but we're working with it. Okay, I'm gonna go over to my right this time. Straightening my right arm, feet together. One, up, to the right. So as I roll over, you will notice that I'm pivoting on the shoulder that I rolled on. So if I'm going over to the right, I'm doing a full pivot onto that right shoulder so I can release my head out the other side. Okay, you don't want to keep looking to the right this entire movement through. You have to be able to free your head and turn your head over to the left by using your straight arm to balance on and your bent arm to catch yourself as you roll over so that you don't crank your neck. Okay, to the right. Brace myself, down, clench, over. Bring your hips all the way down to the ground and now that you're here, see I still have my right arm straight. Okay, this is out straight. Left is bracing myself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my right shoulder into the ground, clench. I'm gonna drive my right shoulder into the ground, point my toes, and try and do a crunch, okay? So I'm gonna crunch, back over. Not quite ready to come rolling right back over again. Um, practice doing this. Think of doing knees, okay? With one straight arm, And then eventually you just have to tuck your head underneath and roll back over to your back. Show you guys from a different angle what that looks like. Okay, so this next one is kind of like a scissor kick to a split. Roll over, okay. Same setup as the other ones. We're gonna lay on our back. Since I'm rolling over to the right, I'm going to try and land with my right foot, okay? So look to the right, roll to the right, put your right foot down. But I'm gonna use the momentum of my left to kick me up. It's gonna be kick, kick, over. All right, so you're gonna kick your left, then your right is gonna come out and over, pointed and straight the whole time as you roll over and bring your hips down to the ground, kind of like in a split. Going to our right, you're gonna kick with the left and then plant the right leg, letting your left leg follow behind. You're coming over, it doesn't really matter if you bend the following leg, as long as you're keeping the leading leg straight, okay? The other one can bend, it can keep straight, and you can just play around with all the variations of that other yeah. leg. Okay, kick. My left. Kick, kick. <laughs> so, since that's my offside, you basically saw what a lot of people end up doing while they're working with this one. Um, I kind of got stuck mid-air and I didn't really know how to bring my body down, okay? So, another angle. Okay, so this last one is called a fish flop. Um, this one, you are going to be treating the shoulder roll as if it was a pike shoulder roll. So you're gonna keep your feet pointed and together at the beginning, but once you start doing the rollover part, what you wanna try and do here is this motion, okay? As Soon as you start rolling over, you're gonna bend your legs back thinking of trying to touch the back of your head, okay? This position here, this is what we're doing coming out of it, okay? So I want you to, soon as you start rolling over, I want you to instantly bend those legs, try and touch your head, okay? It's gonna be like this. Okay, this is the position you kinda wanna be in as you're rolling over. Don't worry about my hands, you're not gonna be using your hands doing that. You're gonna be pushing with your chest out, because I'll show you what it looks like if you don't push your chest out. Okay? 
you don't push your chest out, you run into those kind of problems. You're gonna find that you're smashing your thighs down way too hard on the floor and it looks really sloppy um, and it hurts, okay? It doesn't feel very good on your thighs to slap them down like that. So again, feet together, up and over. As you're coming over, I want you to bend, trying to touch your toes to the back of your head and push your chest out, okay? utilizing your hands to kind of brace yourself as you come over. I'll show you. I don't know if you guys caught that, but my hands went from this position as I'm rolling over and I slid them like this. I went from here to here, here to here. Okay, and that's how I kind of braced my neck chin area because I've also um, cut open my chin practicing this one. Um, but yeah, really, really keep that chest out. Really want you to force this arch, okay, so you don't wind yourself. I've winded myself doing this one as well. Even with pushing your chest out, you're going to uh, kind of come down a little harder on your thighs, okay? So don't worry too much about that. I just don't want it to be a fish flop. You want to think of doing this kind of motion when you come up. Okay, last okay. time, we're gonna bring our legs up for one and then we're gonna go for two as we roll over. We start bending in the air, okay? I'll see, I'll see if I can kind of stop in the air here to show you a little bit more. I'll see. <laughs> that is as slow as I can do that one to show you guys, okay? This movement is way easier and much more smoother the faster you do it. Just really, really keep your emphasis on sticking your chest out as you come over and bending those legs, okay? So this last one does involve a little bit of flexibility, but you're basically going to do a pike rollover to a front split. Show you from this angle now. So you're gonna think of piking and I'm going over to my right, so I'm looking to my right. Over to my right, as my feet touch the ground, I'm gonna open, come all the way down to your split. Now you can turn that into more of a lunge um, if you don't quite have the flexibility yet for that. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, it's a really good way to end up standing up again, nice and sexy like. Show you that variation from a different angle. So for that last one, if you're not willing, so for that last one, if you don't want to do the front split landing, that's totally okay. Um, and for me, it doesn't matter which knee you plant down in which leg straightens. Um, but for tutorial purposes, when I do that one, I roll over to the right, I look to the right, and my right knee touches and bends, my left leg straightens. Okay? So I think the opposite of the side that I'm rolling to, that's the leg I'm gonna keep straight when I land. So one last time, we're gonna pike up for one. Okay, I'm gonna look over to my left this time. We're gonna pike two. And now I'm going to spread my legs as I roll over to my right, to my, as I roll over to my left side, balancing on that left shoulder, bracing myself with my right hand. So really important things to keep in mind for this. You're gonna, it's gonna make it easier for you to wear socks while practicing this. You wanna cover up your shoulders so they don't get super tender and you don't rub your skin off. Stick your chest out if you want to do that fish flop. Make sure whichever side you are rolling to, that is the way that you are looking. Please protect your neck. So whichever shoulder you're rolling on, Usually that's the arm that I will end up straightening, even if I start with my hands down to the side like this. If I'm rolling over to my shoulder, eventually it shoots out like this while I roll over it so that I have more surface area to roll over on so better balance, okay? If that makes any sense. If I'm like this, I have this tiny little area to roll over on and it might make my balance a little off. If I shoot my arm out like this, usually I have more surface area connected here so I have a sturdier rollover. But you guys can do them any way you feel comfortable. If you want to keep your arms out, if you're rolling over to your right and you want to keep your right arm straight like this, that is totally fine. If you want to challenge yourself and do it down to your side as you roll over, that's totally okay as well. Just focus on 
using your shoulder to pivot your body over and your opposite arm is going to come down about at your chest and you're going to use that to brace your body. If you guys have any questions about this, just let me know um, and have fun rolling.